Well, no tiger after all. That's the verdict. That's what TWRA officials are saying tonight. As you know, it was the talk of the town, and really it went nationwide last week after reports of the animal being spotted on the southeast part of town. And at one point, you remember, it even had the city trending on Twitter. That's right, but after all the commotion, we're learning now it may have been something else. WAT6 on your side, reporter Jordan Brown joining us here in the studio to explain the case of mistaken identity. Jordan? Well, Bo, Lori, last week we brought you a story that was very on trend for 2020, to say the least. It started Wednesday with the initial calls reporting a tiger sighting. TWRA officials set a trap on Thursday, then removed it, and Friday the search was officially called off. Now, here we are today, and we're learning it may not have been a tiger after all. So, what was it? The experts think they have an idea. A sighting, a search, and a rotisserie chicken. Last week, the whole city was on the lookout for the Knoxville tiger. Is there an animal control unit that's 10 8 I'm out with a tiger cub. Do what? You heard correctly. But it turns out our tiger may have just been a bobcat. The cat cousins bearing uncanny similarities. In the dark, um, low light conditions like that, it's very you know, understandable that someone can see a bobcat, maybe you've never seen one before, and mistake it for a tiger cub. And TWRA officials say these mistakes are common. Take it from the folks up in Sullivan County. Football practice was canceled Friday when this feline was spotted. Calls to 911 report a, quote, large cat or tiger. You look at it, you say, gosh, what is that? But when you study it a little bit further, you see uh, the short tail on it, you see the spots on its outer coat, and you realize that it's a bobcat. So it's, it's an easy mistake to make and then we got plenty of bobcats around. While similar in color and markings, bobcats and tigers do have notable differences. A tiger has stripes on it with bobcat is spotted on its uh, outer coat. Now, if you look underneath the bobcat's uh, underside, some of those spots look more like streaks. The tail's gonna be the biggest giveaway. Uh, a tiger's gonna have a long tail. Uh, a bobcat has a tail that's probably seven or eight inches long and the size of it. A tiger cub would look pretty similar to a, a full-grown bobcat, which is probably only gonna get about 20, 25 pounds. After five days and national attention, the Knoxville tiger craze has officially come to an end. And TWRA officials remind us that possession of large cats is illegal. The only way large cats can be possessed by are permitted by zoos and educational institutions. There's no private possession of large cats allowed in the state of Tennessee. Bo? All right, Jordan, thank you. And, you know, experts say bobcats rarely attack humans, and it's rare to see one during the day. Uh, they are generally quite shy unless they are sick with rabies. And if you encounter one, the TWRA says to act the same as if you maybe say it saw a bear. Uh, don't approach it and make lots of noise. You should also call 911.